This morning, a discussion was sent out on coronavirus because the World Health Organization has declared coronavirus global emergency because it's spreading outside China. So far, 9,000 severe indicators have been recorded with 213 deaths. And also we are told that there's been suspected cases in Ivory Coast. And that raises concerns as to what Ghana is doing in that very regard. Do you think we should do more than just the surveillance that have been you know, strengthened at the airport? This is Daily Rwand. Let's keep talking. Uh, George, that's the media. I na me 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 join who but I say don't need John who name him say necessary ne fa. We be aware China by this time because I was just watching BBC for the past three days. Charlie students who are who are near there Charlie be no matter frustrated and cast on. We the I say we compare BBC about the day ne be a day ne nam. So what I say say be no more team in P. So be a be the deal. So you have to wear mask and all that. So what I say, it is serious. But media chrome hard the BBC is possible. Because I say you know, we are always reactive, we are not proactive. Into your back here, my dear, I day, I bear you. So what I say, you are here, baby, son. I start HIV, back a cra, Ebola, back a cra, we buy. But after AIDS, you know, Ebola, you man, she day, you be brave, you know, be wah. You know, we in swaba. Me dey, we be say, me in June, this year, baby, me, I day, Abba. I know your prophets. Oh, you know, be wah. We shall move say. Yeah, <laughs> At any time in point, like Ebola, we never expected Ebola to come to Africa. But it came. We never expected. Uh, from here. No, that's what I'm saying. So I disagree with you by saying that it cannot. It can. It can. It can come. But the only thing is, we should make sure that we prevent it, or we should make sure the authorities stick uh, on their on on, the, on on that on their on their net to make sure that uh, they prevent it. Otherwise, when it escalates and it comes to Africa, automatically it will come to this country, and we, it's going to. We are going to suffer for it. Look. Other countries are evacuating their citizens there. It's not only students, it's not only Ghanaian students that we have. There are other Ghanaians who are doing business there. They are buying, they are trading. Okay, so it should, it should just like how the World Health um, Organization have declared a state of emergency, Ghana should by now brought out concretized measures to, 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 to you know, quarantine, quarantine people by saying that, okay all the Ghanaians that who feel like coming back home because I read in some news portals that some Ghanaians say they want to come back they want to come home mm -hmm. government has not even said that they have they are prepared they are prepared to take Ghanaians right from China here they want them to be there because they think that that is the only way to to prevent it from spreading back. that's funding because if you want to evacuate a whole number of people no, from is doing it UK is but they have the capacity do you have the capacity UK is doing it, Kenya, uh, uh, is doing it. Kenya is doing it Look, how did it get to Burkina Faso? How did the issue come to Burkina Faso? So the point is that whether you like it or not, countries have seen the importance of their citizens. And so they value their citizens. Same cannot be said for Ghana, right? Because it means that we don't, ha we, we, we don't have the way without to do that. And we must begin to concretize the, 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 the issue. Look, because whether I like it or not, if right now somebody just smuggles his way in, not from the airport, yeah. we have the Togo border, we have the Burkina I hear the borders have also been, you know. I am, and I'm saying that this matter is about the immune system. Look, if we, the, the scientists are still trying to discover how you can even detect it. Today, we've got to realize that there's a device that can show within two, three hours that this person has coronavirus and they give you the preventive virus. But you see, if today that person's immune system is stronger and we are not able to detect it and he enters this country, what measures have we taken apart from increased surveillance? Yeah, George, if, uh, if I can hear the minister clear, he said the students... The Ghanaian students in China are safe. Uh, is uh, the virus pro students? Is it pro students or because what you were saying? Only the students. What about the businessmen over there? What about the hustlers? No, it should come again, please. And you said uh, maybe you don't have the fund. If you want to evacuate them, maybe you don't have the money, like the way we other countries Ghana. are doing. Ghana, Ghana, we have everything. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> we can do even more than that. We are using a huge sum of money doing unnecessary things. And this like unnecessary things like what? A lot. I don't want to mention because we are not into politics. I'm telling you, unnecessary things. And this uh, something that is going to kill uh, 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 our citizens 
and then we are saying that our students are, 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 are secured. But I'm thinking they will, they, will, they will not say anything otherwise if it's, that's not what it is. If they are secured. George, George, George. I, I think the, the minister should come again. Look, right now, I'm just from home. I'm watching Sky News. UK. They, went, uh, they evacuated almost about 150 citizens. I was watching the, uh, the uh, aircraft landing. He landed now. He has parked where he's supposed to be parked. Now the medical teams are there to check them. So what are we doing? Are we going to relax until the un become unexpected happen? No, Ebola. We had we had a place where people could be quarantined. Two of us. Yeah. So why are we not doing for coronavirus? You can't. Even when at thirty-seven. Yes. So you. So, so it is unconscionable. It is unconscionable to say that you've only increased borders. No, 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 no. Tell us that okay. Apart from increasing uh, increase surveillance, you have created a place where just in case. Somebody even detects because not everybody is educated about the symptoms of coronavirus. As soon as we detect a symptom, we know where to take you to. But don't you see this government's posture as more like optimism? Because we know that surely, as he said. No, see, we're not in a church. We're not in a church. Even the churches have, even the churches make sure they have, you know, preventive measures. Are you sure the Minister of Health knows what he's talking about? Is he serious as a minister? Do we only have only Ghanaian students in China? We have many people, many Ghanaians in China, and this thing can affect them. So the minister shouldn't be saying this. The only thing he can say is to put a good mechanism. I'm sure there are more students compared to maybe the hustlers and then the traders. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because the minister cannot tell me he knows every corner of China. He can't come out and tell us. So the only thing he can do as a minister in charge of health is to make they put a, a, a mechanism. But that's according to the Foreign Affairs Ministry. They are saying Ghanaian students are safe, not the health ministry. Even the foreign minister, I'm not sure she's serious of what she's saying. On what basis is she saying that the students are safe? On what basis? They've done their ground checks. We don't know. What, what kind of checks? The only thing they can do is to put a mechanism in making sure that they protect all, all the Ghanaian students in China. And not to be saying the students are safe. Who says the students are safe? George, uh, George, media. They say then you see sometimes a bind back we will find the minister back up and a foreign affairs ministry back up. So sometimes what they will do is to give assurance and also do their best one. But they don't want to listen to assurance. Do something. No, and I say they are doing something. Who call to see Yesterday, yesterday I was watching the news on your platform that you could see what they were doing. Uh, you, you understand? So they, that, that some of the mechanisms they can start now. You want Ebola? Let me say Kakran, Kakran. You want Ebola? Ba, you neighboring countries. But Ebola into men do her. What I say? The sunny man way there. And then you are now the back. Sunny now the back. You pointy fingers. You know. He's concentrating. At the, uh, at the airport, mm. have we gone to the other borders yes, to check? But not the borders. No, the no, no, no. Did you, did you, has your station gone to the other, the other borders? Has your station gone to the other borders? You see, look. Let's be sure in this country, we, we, we you see. I'm telling you, for Ebola, trust me, we you know we were very, very serious. Apart from high surveillance, we had a place. This one. We don't have it. Mm. You see, we don't have it. And the thing is spreading. Look, and WHO has even told you there's the a declared state of emergency. Countries are evacuating their citizens. I know Ghanaians in China. If you go and ask them that you want to come back to Ghana right now, don't tell them want to come. Say no. What is government government, government of Ghana see about it? You know that look, look, even US and UK, they are far, far, far better than us. Even them, they are evacuating their citizens. Because they are developed countries. No. We are not. No, don't, no, don't say that. Even the developed countries can say that they, they can tell their people that, okay, you stay until, because we, anytime we are safe. But here we are not safe. So bring them as, as quick as possible. You understand? Those who say they want to come, bring them in. Even those who don't want to come, force them to come. Because it's a virus. It's something that is a killable disease. Almost about 270 people have died. And, ah, Knows what will happen tomorrow? Are you getting me? We are here talking and we don't know what will happen tomorrow. What I am saying, I will repeat and I will continue to say the money they are using to do the new register. Use that money. Why am I, why am I seeing politics in this whole discussion? We are seeing politics because look, some of us are not happy with the new register. Yes. And our, our Ghanaian uh, 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 are suffering and dying and are frustrated. You are not talking like a Ghanaian. You are not talking like a Ghanaian. Talk like a Ghanaian. No, no, he's an optimist. He's an optimist. He's an optimist. Tell me that as of today, nobody is dead in China. We said Ghanaian, Ghanaians. No, well, 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 well. If any Ghanaian is not dead, and we are saying, bring up, they are saying, 
they want to come back. Who are saying bring them? Who, who are saying bring them? Guyanese are frustrated in China. Bring them back. I got information. And the information I'm getting is they want to come back. Bring them bring them back to Ghana. Charlie, but my rich boy, I see for Bombra. I'm for Bombra. The country is in Krampa, everyone. If you don't be one flight, one flight. Kenya has a flight. There's a Kenyan flight. There's a, there's a national carrier. Did we not have a flight that Canada? No, no, you see? No, no. What they say, it doesn't hold water. What they say, it doesn't hold water. I understand, Rich. If you have a national carrier, it would have been easier to say, okay, let's take two and then bring them. Government flights. Even the presidential flight, isn't it? But our present has rent a flight almost $17,000 an hour roaming above. I don't know about this. You don't have facts. You don't have facts. No. No, no, I'm telling you the fact. I'm telling you the fact. So, it's to use part of the money that he used to rent the flight to go and evacuate our people from China and bring them down. I'm telling you for a fact. We have the money. We have everything that it takes to bring back our citizens. Okay. So, so this is how this is how, this is how we draw the curtains on today's discussion. According to the according to the public, government should do more than you know just you know strengthen the surveillance. At least they can evacuate all the Ghanaian citizens in China to the country. Maybe that will help. Let's know what you so think watching home. Just log on to our social media platforms on Facebook and see with. Ghana. And on Twitter, it's a new Steve with three. Thanks for watching. Have a good morning.